Hi there, it's Esther Herbert and I'm in for another video visit. It's a special day today, it's my birthday, and I just thought of you folks and I hadn't done a video visit last week and I wanted to uh, do one today. So welcome, glad you joined me. I'm gonna talk about ah, those exciting times in life where we just don't get enough sleep. Now that happens uh, often, but I think that it's important for those of us especially that have bipolar or for those of us who especially have a mental disorder that we are you know, working with because um, getting regular sleep is so important. This past week of mine <laughs> has been so exciting and event filled that it was uh, pretty much impossible to get the regular good sleep that I'm used to. I had uh, visitors, relatives from England come over um, and I hadn't met them before. I'd been in touch with them for such a long time. So the excitement level of meeting them for the first time was so, so high. I was just, oh, just at the point of just boiling over of excitement. It was just, it was great. They came especially to see my mom uh, she turned 94, so we had the big birthday celebration with them, with her, and then uh, I went up north with my best friend, and we had a great time up there, and we just got back yesterday. So instead of just keeping that going, and if, if left unchecked, not having great sleep patterns, then the next thing you know, you, for me, I might uh, have bouts of mania, and it would then go out of control and I would get very sick if I didn't take care of it. So last night, went to bed at a pretty regular time. This morning, up at a pretty regular time. I'm still on vacation until next week, but I thought it was important to get back on track and take care of myself. Now, these times in our lives where we have little or no sleep, it's not available, it's just not convenient, it's not what we can do, um, it's okay. Live it up, have some fun, or if you're having a really rough time, totally understandable that sleep takes its, uh, you know, there's it, the toll on sleep happens and it's never going to be perfect. But what I want to tell you is that yes, that's life. But on the other hand, you want to make sure that you maintain getting right back on track for those uh, sleep patterns that are so important to your mental health. I can do it, so believe me, I believe that you can do it as well. We are people of habit, a lot of us, and I know I certainly am, but instead of just spinning out of control of all the excitement of the relatives and the birthdays and the trip up north, I just decided that it's important for me to get sleep. I know tonight I'll do the same thing, and by the time I go back to work next week, everything will be back to my normal. So I'm encouraging you to do the same. I know that you can, and I know that sleep is so important. So it is kind of annoying when you're having a great time to think about going to bed, but if you do, you'll be uh, more balanced and your life will be healthier and you'll be able to tackle life with a little bit more strength and joy to vivre, I believe, if you can, because uh, life is good and you wanna enjoy it. So thank you so much for joining me this week. It's a real privilege for me to pop into your home and be a part of your world. Uh, I hope that you'll check out my YouTube channel. Uh, you'll share it with a friend. You'll subscribe. That's so important, and I appreciate that. I hope you have a terrific week, and remember to sleep well, take care of yourself, and all the best with your mental health.